Hey guys, what's up? It's JRP77 from JGN Games, and in this quick tip, we are going to be making wires in Blender. So this is actually a pretty straightforward thing to do. It's more of just getting used to the process. So let's go ahead and double click to open up Blender. I've recently upgraded to 2.78a. It's the latest version. There'll be a link in the description to download Blender. It's a free open source 3D modeling suite. Very useful to have on your PC. So first of all, I'm gonna hit X to delete this cube, and then I'm gonna hit Shift A, and I'm going to add a cylinder. I'm going to scale the cylinder down by hitting S and then typing in 0.1. This will make it look more like a wire in my opinion. Then I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to add a path. It's under the Curve tab, then Path. And I'm going to rotate this on the Y axis 90 degrees and I'm also going to scale it up so that we have a little bit more room to work with. Now if I hit Tab, you'll notice that we can actually move these points around. So now I'm going to right click on this top piece and I'm going to move it over to the side and then I'm going to move this one over like so. So that gives more of a curve. Then I'm gonna move this bottom point over here. And I'm gonna move this point out to about right there. And because this isn't just one axis, I'm also gonna rotate around and move these on the X and opposite direction in different ways as well. So that gives more of a wiry effect. That was a weird word, wiry, but we're gonna go with it. So now let's hit tab to exit out of that. Right click on the cylinder and we're gonna go to modifier tab. We're gonna to go to the modifiers tab, which is the wrench. Go to add modifier array. Now instead of this being on the X axis like it is right now, we're gonna change it to the Z axis by deleting this one, changing it to a zero, and then changing this bottom number to a one. Now we're gonna to go to add modifier curve, and I'm gonna to go to object, NURBS path. Now if I scroll out, you'll see that it's already locked on to the curve. And now if I take this count all the way up, you'll notice that it starts going in the opposite direction. And that's because if we click on this right here, you'll notice that the arrows are pointing that the curve is going this way. So what we have to do is we have to set this to go on the negative X axis. And now we just go all the way down and you'll notice that it fits the curve completely. So that's basically all there is to making a very basic wire in Blender, and this can be very useful for your game as well. All you have to do to save these changes is to hit apply and apply, going top to bottom, and boom, you've got yourself a really cool object and it mirrors your curve perfectly. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. If this video sucks, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, as well as join our Discord server. All those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.